There's this woman who found herself in the middle of a boardroom of a multi-million dollar organization that's been around for over three decades. She's sitting face to face with the entire executive team, a group of 40, 50, 60 plus year old, high powered, successful executives. This leadership team was searching for someone to help them find a purposeful direction in their company and they chose her to lead the way. They paid her the big bucks and they put all of their faith in her. And they were so glad that they did because by the end of that day, they were absolutely mesmerized by what just happened in that room. The CEO is astonished. The CFO is blown away. Another executive is brought to tears all because of this life-changing experience this woman just took them through. Hearing that story, you might think, this woman has at least 30 years experience under her belt. She's got the right degrees and certifications. Perhaps she worked her way up to the top to earn this opportunity, right? Here's the truth. That woman was 23 years old. She had just quit her waitressing job six months before, and she was only three months into her business without a lick of corporate consulting experience. Yet, here she was. You know who that woman is? You're looking at her. So how in the world did a 23-year-old land herself in the middle of a boardroom where people were looking to her for wisdom? What was it about me that was different of the story that you need to be a certain age or have a certain amount of years experience before you can finally do the thing that you want to do? What did I know? What tool did I have? What belief did I believe that cut down 30 years of needed experience into only three months? These questions led me deeper to one groundbreaking question. Does time do stuff or do we do stuff? You see, we've agreed to the belief that things just take time in life. It takes eight years to build a deep relationship with someone. It takes 20 years to work your way up and have a successful career. It takes a decade to rebuild after a chaotic event or natural disaster. Why is it that we believe that? And better yet, how is it that some people have defied this belief throughout human history and done remarkable things in record-breaking time? How did NASA make it to the moon in the 60s in just nine years when it was supposed to take decades? How did PayPal cut down online payment transactions from taking three weeks to three seconds? and then take that concept to the masses in just five years. How have people defied time throughout history? What did they know that no one else knew? What tool did they use that no one else did? You see, myself, NASA, PayPal, were no more special than anyone else. All we did was use the tool, the tool that breaks through the barrier of time, the tool that challenges the belief that things just take time in life. There's something else at play here, and I know this because I lived it. And then I saw it play out with some of the greatest leaders of our time. And what I witnessed and what I experienced was so extraordinary that I chose to codify it. And that tool is, things don't take time, they take courage. You see, things don't take time, things happen over time. Time is simply a witness that watches us do or not do, yet we give so much of our power to time. The reality is things start happening when we have the courage to ask new questions think new thoughts, and take new actions. And this is how we take back the power that we've given time. And this is not just my personal opinion. 
This has been played out throughout history. Let's take NASA, for example. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy, he set a national goal to land a man on the moon by the end of the decade. You know what this now meant? NASA now only had nine years to do what was supposed to take multiple decades. At the time of this announcement, they didn't even know what mode of transportation they were going to use to get to the moon. So how were they supposed to accomplish this monumental task? It started with the NASA team asking one groundbreaking question. How can we do what normally takes us decades in one? You see, this new question instilled a new belief in the team's mind of what was possible. Having the courage to ask a new question got them thinking differently, which hurled them into the field of possibility within an instant. And they did it. NASA landed a man on the moon in 1969. When we have the courage to ask new questions, our beliefs, they start to shift. And that's the neat part about our brain. It backs up whatever beliefs we feed it. So if we start to feed it beliefs that are outside of this box of time, we get new thoughts, we get new actions, which lead us to new outcomes that our brain could have never imagined possible. And now, old beliefs that things take decades turn into new realities where things take only years, months, or days. And this is all possible because things don't take time they take courage. Now here's where this gets really cool. Not only is this rooted in history, it's also rooted in science. Parkinson's law tells us that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. In short, if you're given a day to complete a task, it'll only take a day. However, if you're given an hour to complete that same task, it'll take a full hour. It'll only take an hour. This reveals that when we have the courage to ask new questions with new time constraints, we hurl ourselves into the field of possibility in an instant. Because when we ask ourselves, how can I do what would normally take me a day in an hour? We instill a new possibility because that question activates curiosity, creativity, and innovation. And without that, who knows when we would have made it to the moon. We would have gotten stuck in the box of time, which slows down our growth and puts great things on pause. Things drag out for months, years, lifetimes. And that's when we start to believe that things just take time in life. JFK gave NASA a new time constraint which gave them the courage to ask new questions, which instilled a new possibility, and it hurled them into the field of possibility within an instant. And then great things happened because things don't take time, they take courage. Let's take a look at Elon Musk. He is a true testament to this philosophy. He is hurling us through time as we speak with his curiosity, his creativity, and his innovation with solar, with space, with electric cars. He is constantly asking himself, how can we do what would normally take a century in a decade? But let me take you back to the first time he did this. Elon is one of the co-founders of PayPal, an online payments company that revolutionized how we buy and sell online. In the dot-com era, electronics, it hadn't, electronic payments, it hadn't quite caught up to technology. Transactions between buyers and sellers, it took up to three weeks. It was only through mail. And trust in the marketplace was at an all-time low because of so many scammers. Admits the chaos, PayPal asked themselves one groundbreaking question. How can we do what would normally take three weeks in three seconds? And then, if we can do that, how can we get people to trust us now, not later, 
not after a bunch of time has passed, not after we've been in business for 30 years, but right now. The PayPal team had the courage to challenge the status quo and ask new questions which hurled them into the field of possibility in an instant. Curiosity, creativity, innovation were activated. The answers were unfolding right before their eyes. They stepped out of the construct of time and stepped into the flow of courage. And because of this, they started doing things that were unheard of during this time. They came up with this genius marketing strategy where they were actually paying people to join PayPal and invite their friends. And you know what this did? This instilled an immense amount of trust on their platform, which was so hard to do during this wild, wild west of the internet. And then they amplified that trust by partnering with established brands like eBay. eBay was so blown away and impressed that they bought PayPal for $1.5 billion just four years into being in business. And then PayPal went on to do over 600 million online payment transactions within eight. But how? Isn't that supposed to take decades to accomplish? Well, things don't take time, they take courage. Throughout my journey, I've realized so many things are locked into time. There's this immense pressure to go along with the status quo of this is how things have been done and this is how things just are. It takes a courageous person to ask, what if it could be different? What if it didn't take time? It takes a courageous person to think outside of the box of time and potentially face ridicule, rejection, falling on their face. It takes a courageous person. It takes a courageous person to take action, not later, but right now. And when we have the courage to ask, think, and do things that challenge the status quo, we open ourselves up to receive possibilities and outcomes that we could have never imagined possible for us. And this is when we step into the flow of courage. Time starts to bend. We are doing things faster than we could have ever imagined. We're inside the Millennium Falcon traveling at hyperspeed. And when we're in the flow of courage, ultimately, time stops mattering. Time only matters when we're standing still. But when we're in motion, we forget time even exists. Everything is happening here and now. The answers are unfolding right before us. You're in it. And time finally no longer is a factor in being who you want to be and doing what you want to do. And you start to do remarkable things in record-breaking time. So now I give this tool to you. What new questions will you ask? What new thoughts will you think? What new actions will you take? What status quos will you challenge? And I know it's not easy. It's not easy to go to the moon in nine years. It's not easy to walk into a boardroom at 23 years old. It's not easy to, to create game-changing software and get millions of people to trust you. It's not easy to say the thing. But what I do know is doing the hard thing is always worth it. And once you do the hard thing, everything gets easier. We're in a reality right now where it's easy to fall back on the belief that things take time in life. After an economic downturn, it takes time to rebuild your career. After a global lockdown, it takes time to reconnect with your community. In the aftermath of chaos, it takes time to recenter and get back to who you are. But the road ahead is not as long as you think. 
It takes the courage to ask a new question, which instills a new belief of what is possible, which create new thoughts, new actions, which lead you to new outcomes you could have never imagined possible. Since my boardroom moment, I've been figuring out, how did this happen for me? So I explored history, business, science, and I realized what I did was have the courage to ask a new question. I asked myself, how can I do what I want to do now? How can I be who I want to be now? And that hurled me into the field of possibility within an instant. I started thinking differently, asking new questions, taking new actions. I started doing remarkable things in record-breaking time. So the question for you is, are you willing to break free of the construct of time and step into the flow of courage, a place where virtually anything is possible, where things that once took decades now take only days. A place where ultimately time stops mattering. Because the truth is, things don't take time, they take courage. Thank you.